Uh, but let's get to some news, uh, mainly for the White Sox and the White Sox alum, White Sox Hall of Famer, uh, Mark Burley. He will be on the 2024 Hall of Fame ballot. Right after we ended our show yesterday, the Hall of Fame ballot was revealed. Scott Rowland is the only Hall of Famer for the 2023 class, along with Fred McGriff, at least the only player that was voted in by, by the BBWA. The BBWA. Yes. Um, so Scott Rowland in Fred McGriff also in um, and now it's kind of on to 2024 for Mark Burley which is great he got 10.8 percent of the val- uh, the vote uh, up from uh, I think it was about 6.8 last year so up four percent great for Mark Burley another year he's on to year I think it's now four yeah I think that and we're going to discuss the year next year's ballot he's going to be on this ballot for a while now there's not a lot of great players going in next year and Mark Burley just keeps on his case keeps on getting better because of his longevity because of he's doing 200 innings in 14 consecutive innings missing the 15th season just by I think like a two-thirds of an inning and so it's looking even better in this day and age what he did the three perfect uh three batters was a face the minimum batters no one's ever done that so I don't know if he'll ever get in by getting voted in, but I think players and or this veteran committee will eventually vote him in. He might be like in his 70s when he gets voted in, but I believe that Mark Burley will be appreciated for what he did in his career as we move on because we see it's such a rarity nowadays. I could see that. I could definitely see a... a committee of some fashion voting him in decades from now right that well, that's definitely something that could that could happen with mark burley and that was the whole idea behind hashtag bus for burley the campaign that i very very uh seldomly push uh but you know i'm I, why not i tweet it every now and then uh but that was the idea was just get him 10 years on the ballot because i think he's an interesting topic and if you do send him to a veterans committee where he has all these innings pitched especially with now starters basically going away not even pitching to the 5th inning like i do think that burley with his war number being basically at 60 it's at 59 um i do think that he's going to be somebody that uh the younger generation of baseball writers uh, especially after 10 years has passed of him being on the ballot. And then I think there's even a couple year layoff before you have to go to the veterans uh, committee. Like I think that generation of sports writer will definitely be a little bit more informed. And also that well, veterans committee, or the, at least the team that just voted in Fred McGriff had Kenny Williams and Frank Thomas on. Yeah. I was going to say, Pretty good. It, it doesn't really matter if you impress a younger generation of writers, they're not going to get to vote on you again, but right. uh, <laughs> you know, but uh, it, it does matter obviously what your, Pierce thought of yep. you and, and certainly people who uh, have remained in the game for, well, for so long. And Susan Slusser was the writer that kind of led that group as well. And I know that she's voted for Mark Burley in her BBWAA vote. So that's three of the 15 already that you would say could vote for Mark Burley. So, like, that's You think great. Kenny Williams is going to vote for Mark Burley? I would, I would think that Kenny Williams and I think that Frank Thomas would, would vote for Mark Burley. I think, I think that Jerry Reinsdorf would give them a nice little paycheck if they did. <laughs> Even I mean, if they don't. I think they might just do it because he's a good guy and, you know, great teammate, whatever, won the World Series. But, you know. If you recall, Frank Thomas's <laughs> Harold uh, Payne's got a talk show he had on uh, NBC Sports Chicago. One of the first guests he had on was Mark Burley, and he said he was one of his favorite, favorite teammates. And Frank Thomas, as a Hall of Famer, knows Hall of Fame pitching. Maybe not um, Roy Holiday, maybe not people of his peers of that time, but you tell anybody back in the day, like Mark Burley's on the bumps, like, man, it's going to be a tough day. He's going to work quick. He's going to be hitting spots, and we're not going to get a lot of runs. So we need to uh, get a couple scratched out and then – early part of the game is hope he gets pulled out of the game. So I think he has a good shot, especially if these guys, these White Sox people, stay on that uh, veterans committee. 